Currently, Xenia is the only emulator that allows us to run Xbox 360 games on PC. But how do you set it up? Well, first of all, you don't download the emulator. Instead, you download Xenia Manager. It's the recommended way to install everything. Once you're done downloading, it's time to extract the contents. There's only one file inside, but please note that you need 7-zip or WinRAR to extract the archive. Once you've finished the download, create a folder on your PC and call it whatever you want. For the purposes of this guide, I will name it Xenia Manager and put it on my desktop. But feel free to create the folder wherever you like. We will now run the manager for the first time. From there, you should immediately go to manage your install Xenia. This is where we will actually install the emulator. You may be confused by the options provided, but I would recommend that you install the Netplay version. It already contains everything from the Canary version, so there's no reason not to get it. As for this one, it allows you to have native mouse and keyboard support, which is beneficial for some types of games like first-person shooters. We will focus on the mouse hook release a bit later, but for now, let's install the Netplay version. The emulator will launch automatically and will prompt for a profile. Just go ahead and create it. After that, just close it down immediately and notice the file structure of the newly created emulator. It's right here. Before continuing, I would recommend that you switch over to the nightly builds. This will increase the frequency of updates that you receive. As you can see, I'm already getting an update. Now we'll configure the default settings. Most games will run fine with these, although there are a few exceptions here and there. Display settings can be left alone. They are perfectly fine as is. Under graphics, I would recommend that you switch over to DX12. Don't increase the resolution or the draw scale. This will have to be handled on a per game basis since the emulator has some issues when upscaling, unfortunately. I have a 360 controller, so under input I will select the X input option. Button mapping is automatic, so you won't have to set it up any further. I'm not sure about PlayStation controllers though, so tell me in comments what your experience is. As for Netplay itself, I will leave that for another video, so stay tuned. Adding games to your library is ridiculously simple. I already have a folder full of games, so I'll just drag it into my main Xenia Manager folder. The games are available in two acceptable ways. The most common is the XEX format, although games can sometimes come in ISO format as well, depending on where you get it. So let's add the games to our library now. I'll direct the manager to the relevant folder. As you already know, I dragged it inside the main folder of Xenia Manager. The program may stall for a few seconds as it scans the directory, so don't panic. It will eventually show the games in your library. I'm still missing Red Dead Redemption though. It's in ISO format, so I'll add it as a single file. Games can be patched, in case they need specific fixes. First you need to download them though. In the case of Red Dead Redemption, sun flares can be visible through walls, so we'll just disable the feature to get over that visual bug. But as you can see, there are numerous patches available that will enable or disable other visual features. You can experiment on your own. The one major advantage that Xenia has over RPCS3 is that it runs games relatively okay on modest hardware. But if you want to have even more frames, Disabling motion blur or anti-aliasing can improve matters even further. By default, Xbox Live games will always be in trial mode unless you change a very specific setting. Let me show you. Right-click on the game's profile and select Settings. This will allow for per-game settings, so whatever you change here will only affect Geometry Wars 2. Now remember why we're here. We want to unlock the full game, so under License Mask, change it to All Licenses. And as you can see, we've unlocked the full game by simply changing a setting. Isn't that awesome? 
Sorry to end this video abruptly, but after tinkering with the mousehook version of Xenia, I realized that it's not ready for everyday use. Key bindings can only be set in a config file, which makes it useless for me. If it improves, I'll make a video about it.